Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to Jack Games. Uh, today I have uh, my PSA membership kit. Membership kit. Uh, renewed it last year technically uh, because the prices all went up and uh, they raised the price on the memberships. But they do have a thing now where you don't have to get the cards, like the free grades, which is probably what I'll end up doing because I don't see a point in spending $140 to get 15 cards graded when you can just get the, the bottom bottom one but um i wanted to go ahead and open it up i made that hole so don't worry uh see what you get for the money so i'm sure i'm pretty sure you still get a lot of this stuff with uh with the cheaper one but uh yeah for starters you get a you always get a book this is a legendary lumber this is the book i usually have most of the time it seems to be like baseball themed but uh I want to say one year I got a free, they gave you a t-shirt, I almost said free, but you're definitely paying for it. Uh, you get a t-shirt, uh, you got a t-shirt, and uh, I couldn't wear it, so I gave it to my wife. It just says like PSA, Jim and 10 on it, stuff like that. But, um, I wanted to let everyone know, so, uh, yeah, it's the platinum is what I usually do, because before the only two deals were, it was like 120, and you get six cards graded. Or 200 and you get uh, 15 cards graded. So, but they always send you this kit, even though, personally, I do all my orders online. Uh, I don't remember the last time I shipped it in with the invoice or with the, the forms. Yeah. Like always, they definitely bubble wrap the crap out of everything, which is good. So, they give you some card savers. I think it just depends on... Good old mailman, just throwing my crap around. I didn't even bring it up the stairs. Anyways, so you get a uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, well, I got I got sixteen. I think you get one for each for like what I what you uh, whichever that you sign up for is what you get. And then you get add for memory lane, and then uh, I guess that's it. Wow. Okay, this is different than usually they send you. Um, what you call it, uh, like the forms and stuff, but I didn't even get that, so you apparently get a book and some card savers this is all you get but uh yeah, this is a way shorter video than I thought it was going to be um, I also wanted to go over uh, why I like PSA um, I, I've had a, a membership since 2005 I've sent hundreds if not thousands of cards in to get graded and uh, I just like the cards better uh, I like the cases I like the company you know, they all have their ups and downs, you know, but for me, PSA is always the way to go. I like the way the cases feel. I like the cases, um, the way they look, you know, they keep updating the look on it. Um, you know, I, I like that there's a number, like this is a four. This is in a four condition by their guidelines instead of being like 9.5, 9, 9, you know, I don't need all that crap. I don't need all that extra information. If it's a four, it's a four. Like that's how I feel about it. You know, I, I'm in these all these PSA groups, and people are constantly complaining. Oh, this card was a ten, and I shipped it in, and it came back a four. Like, no, it wasn't. It was a four. You missed something. You are not a professional grader. Uh, perfect example. Even for me, every single order I send in, there's always one or two cards that aren't tens. They're not nines. Uh, I sent in a Sam Bradford rookie. Uh, last year or year before and it came back in a four and I couldn't figure out why until I looked at it and I look at the back and there's just a giant uh, like printing defect there's like a um, like a seam or like a, a, not even a crease it's like a printing defect from uh, that from the factory and um, like that's my fault they didn't do that like I missed that I should have looked at the back better and um, if, if they don't come back in a 10 and you think they were a 10 then you miss something. I mean, they give you the exact rules and the guidelines they go by, and people don't seem to understand that. You know, there people I've seen people complain, thinking that they're trying to keep the pop down so the card's worth more. But I've never bid on a card more because it had a lower pop. You know, I I just I don't. Maybe I'm not that kind of collector. I mean, you've seen what I've opened. You know, most of the stuff I buy are like fours and fives and. But I'll buy 10s and, you know, 9s and stuff too. But I just, 
people complain too much and they, they think they know more. And then the other thing I want to talk about is um, the three different main companies. There's there's PSA, there's Beckett, and then there's SG, SGC. Uh, SGC is apparently post-war, no, pre-war. So it's like 40s and back. That's what they're known for. And then PSA is vintage, which is, you know, like 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. I guess 80s, depending on when you think vintage happens. And then Beckett is modern. Uh, I don't believe that. I think it comes down to what you want. And I want all my cards graded by, by PSA. Uh, Beckett cases are ugly. They're thick. And I, I just, they're, they're hideous. Their service has gotten way worse from what I've heard. Uh, I also don't like how they don't tell you how much shipping is going to be until you've shipped it in, they've graded them, then they tell you how much shipping is going to be. I think that's that's complete crap. I'm completely happy with paying my set amount with PSA. Um, I, I will, and then when it comes to SGC, I'll never own an SGC graded card. Yeah, all my TU206 cards are supposed to be allegedly graded by SGC, and I think that's crap. Uh, SGC cases are hideous. They're a company that most people have never heard of. And uh, if you go on eBay, they, they have like a couple hundred cards on eBay. Uh, I think going on major sites and seeing what has the most of a certain thing tells you how popular they are. They are. And by far, PSA is up there being the best and, and most reputable company, in my opinion. Uh, I've never had a bad experience with them. I've had two orders run past business, uh, the business days uh, time, and people bitch and complain about that. Oh, my cards aren't done. You know, but did you actually like call and, and, and talk to them? You don't email them. I've learned that a long time ago. Like every other large corporation, you don't email. You don't get responses. You call them. You call them, they'll tell you exactly how many business days your, your order is on. And I've thought it was 30, you know, and it's day 30. Oh, man, where is my order not finished? And I call up, and it's like day 24 because we had holidays, and holidays don't count as business days. So Christmas doesn't count towards your order. You know, if you send your your order in for 50 business days, why would you not expect it just to be 50 business days? That's like when you buy something off TV, and it says it'll be there in four to six weeks, and you get it in three like, you never thank the company. You, you expect four to six. Why would you think it would get here any sooner? Or when you go get a bank card at the bank, you have to reorder one. They say, you know, seven to ten business days, and it gets there by the end of the, you know, by the end of the week. Like, it just differs depending on what you send in. It also takes longer if they have to do more research on your cards. Uh, uh, one, of my, one of my orders, I sent in some Nintendo stickers from 1989, and they had... They had never graded them before, and that order took longer than it, than it, than the, the business days because they had to do more research. They had to figure out what the column, and if you send something in that they don't know what it is and they have to do research on it, it's going to take longer because that just makes sense. People don't use common sense. And uh, another thing is people need to go watch their video. They have a PSA video on how grading, how they grade their cards, and how it works. And a lot of people in these posts say things like. Oh, you know, it, uh, you know, oh, it must have been a bad day for the grader. And that's not how it works. If you watch their video, it's graded by two different people, completely different people. One person grades it and the second person grades it. And until they're the same number, they don't, it starts over again if they're not all the same. So if you send in 10 cards and one guy has a nine on one and one has a 10 on the other, they're going to regrade them with two different graders. That's just how it works. People don't know this, and it pisses me off. You know, it's just people think they they know stuff that they don't. And, um, you know, I also don't believe it's a waste of money. I think the cards look awesome in the cases. They look awesome. They uh, will be well protected. You know, I have kids. They like to just pick up stuff and touch stuff. Even my wife, she just picks up stuff, uh, you know, and, and they look great. I think cards, old, new... They, they all look great in the PSA cases, in any graded cases, actually. You know, you, you buy the card, not the... You buy the card, not the grade. And if anybody's watched any... If you've watched any of my videos, you would know that. Because I have plenty of ones and twos. And I would rather have one. You know, my Tony Perez. 
Rookie has a has a pinhole in it and it's a one, and I I love that card. I'd much rather have that than a nine or a ten. I bought the card. I wanted the card. I don't care about the grade. So um, I'm losing my voice. But uh, I'm trying to think of the other points, but I think that's it. I mean, I just people just they. I, I don't know if it's like the world we live in now, where everybody wants their stuff now. And, you know, I'm not even that old, but I, it's not how it works. I know that. You know, I'm 30. I'll be 34 this year. I'm 33. And I know that's not how it works. You know, I send my 15-card order in, and they got it the weekend before. Uh, they got it. They accepted it from the post office that Saturday. And it still hasn't been put in, and I'm, I expect that. I'll keep checking. Like, you know, once in <laughs> seems like every hour I check. But until it's in... I, you know, as long as they get it, that's all I care. And you just wait. That's how it works with all these grading companies. They're not going to be done overnight. But, um, yeah, I just, yeah. I I was hoping there would be more in the box because they used to send, like, an uh, issue of SMR, the Sports Market Report, and some paper, you know, some more papers and stuff like that. But I guess they changed it maybe because I renewed it instead of, like, uh, getting a new one. But, uh, yeah, I love PSA. Um, I'll always buy PSA cards. Any of the Beckett cards you've ever seen me open, I'm going to snap open at some point and send it into Beckett. Or send it into PSA. But uh, I think I've only bought two. I bought a, a 55 Bowman that I've already broken. And it was a giant pain in the butt because I don't have the right tools. And then uh, 70 Ernie Banks that I need to bust open. But, um, yeah, I just I'm PSA to the end. You know, I just... Yeah, I just like the company. The people are nice when I when I talk to them, you know. But um, yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna step off my soapbox. But uh, I kind of hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, I was hoping there'd be more. Let me know which one you prefer, which company you prefer. Uh, are you one of those people that you know vent like pro, uh, pre-war has to be SGC, you know, uh, vintage, you know, PSA and the new stuff Beckett. You know, let me know. Uh, I'd be interested to know. Like I had one guy comment on my my very first video about my T206s and how basically I was dumb for buying them. And uh, I should have just, instead of buying all those, I should have just bought one Hall of Famer from SGC. And uh, just, I told the guy, I'm like, look, like, yeah, I'm good. I Everyone collects differently. Uh, I was just trying to, you know, I was buying quantity, not quality. You know, if you watch some of my other videos over the past couple of year, uh, you know, I've picked up. You know, a, a couple of Hall of Famers and stars here and there, all graded by PSA. I'm not buying SGC garbage. Those cases look disgusting. I really hate them. That guy really pissed me off. But anyways, um, yeah. So uh, I kind of hope you enjoy this video. This is my rant video that I'm gonna have. So uh, have a nice day and uh, talk to you later.